हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ मॉस्फेट एम्पलीफायर here you need to remember that high frequencies are always affected by internal capacitance of the amplifier circuit before understanding the high frequency response of mosfet amplifier let us consider a capacitor that is connected as feedback between input and output here you need to remember that if any capacitor is connected as feedback between input and output the feedback capacitance can be isolated or it can be divided into two parts first one is input part and second one is output part so here for the input capacitance we can write the formula as cf into 1 plus a and for the output capacitance we can write that as cf into 1 plus 1 by a so here capital a is the amplifier gain and cf is the feedback capacitor so this input and output capacitance are obtained using the miller's theorem that's why it is represented as cmi and cm not so you need to remember these two formulas so that you can write the formulas for high frequencies of mosfet amplifier to understand the high frequency response of mosfet amplifier let us consider the voltage divided by a circuit as shown in this figure here rd is the drain resistor or output resistor rs is the source resistor r1 and r2 are the voltage divided by a resistor r signal is the input resistor vdd is the dc source voltage vi is the input voltage capacitor cc1 and cc2 are coupling capacitor capacitor c2 is the capacitor across the source resistor rl is the load resistor where we will be measuring the output voltage now for this voltage divided by a circuit we need to write the small signal model to write the small signal model we need to connect the dc source to the ground and capacitors cc1 cc2 and cs along with the source resistor should be short circuited so using this we have written this small signal model where the vdd is connected to ground capacitors are short circuited here in place of r1 and r2 we have written a equivalent thevenin's resistor which is rth along with this we have written two internal capacitances which are cgd and cgs cgd is capacitance between gate and drain and cgs is capacitance between gate and source terminal let us write hybrid pi equivalent model of this circuit at the output side we are having a current which is id in parallel to that we are having the resistor rd and resistor rl across rl we can measure the output voltage v not and at the input side we are having a capacitor cgs and rth and r signal along with the input voltage which is vth here the capacitor cgd is common between the input and output side so that's why we will write cgd common between input and output side cgd here we'll get two frequencies we need to find fhi which is high frequency across input and fh not which is high frequency across output first let us calculate f h i so formula for frequency is 1 by 2 pi r c so we need to find r equivalence and c equivalence in the same way we can find the angular frequency also which is omega h i that can be given as 1 divided by r equivalence and c equivalence to find the equivalence resistor and capacitor let us consider the input side 
at the input side we are having r signal along with that we are having rth capacitor cgs and let us short the input voltage so at the input side we have written r signal rth and cgs and we have short circuited this voltage VTH to find the equivalent resistor and capacitor. And you need to remember this capacitor CGD is common between input and output. That's why we need to take this capacitor by using this concept. So we can take the capacitor which is common between input and output as CMI. So we will connect a capacitor which is CM. I. So here we can find R equivalence as R signal parallel with RTH. So that's why we can write R equivalence is R signal parallel with RTH. And C equivalence is these two capacitor are in parallel. That's why we can write CGS plus CMI. So while solving the problem, to find the value of CMI, you can use this formula. Therefore, we can write FHI, which is high frequency at the input, as 1 divided by 2 pi. R equivalence is R signal parallel with RTH into CGS plus CMI. And angular frequency omega hi will be equal to 1 divided by R signal parallel with RTH multiplied with CGS plus CMI. So this is the formula for the frequency as well as the angular frequency. In the same way, let us find F H naught that will be equal to 1 divided by 2 pi r equivalence into c equivalence and omega h naught that will be equal to 1 divided by r equivalence into c equivalence. To find this let us consider the output side. So at the output side we are having the current source along with that the resistor rd and rl which are connected in parallel and we are having a capacitor which is common between input and output which is CGD. So we can write CGD at the output side as CM naught. So we can say R equivalence will be equal to RD parallel with RL and C equivalence is nothing but we are having only one capacitor that is CM naught. So here while solving the problem CM naught you need to take the formula as CF into 1 plus 1 by A. So we can write the high frequency at the output side as 1 divided by 2 pi into R equivalence is RD parallel with RL multiplied with C equivalence which is CM naught. So in the same way the angular frequency across the output is omega h naught that is equal to 1 divided by rd parallel with rl multiplied with cm naught. So this is the formula for frequency and angular frequency. Now we need to find the high frequency. We can find high frequency fh is equal to minimum frequency between FHI and FH naught. So we can find the high frequency as minimum frequency between the high frequency across the input and the high frequency across the output. This is about high frequency response of MOSFET amplifier. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.